What are metafiles? .metafiles are part of Unity's asset database. They're a form of metadata. Metadata is information about a piece of data as opposed to that data itself. Every time you see when a file was created or modified, you are looking at that file's metadata. Most files on computers have some amount of metadata, and that metadata usually lives inside of the same file as the data itself. The .meta files that are in Unity, this is metadata about project files that are specifically needed for Unity's asset database. In this case, the metadata is not stored inside of the file, but next to it in its own file. And while this can be annoying, it lets your original assets remain untouched by Unity. You can continue changing and updating your assets without losing any of the associated metadata. That's really important for how Unity works and for how we tend to work with our files in Unity. Let's take a look at a few assets in Unity. I have a .blend file and two .jpeg image files. When Unity imports a file, a few things happen. First, it converts the file if needed. Unity will convert this .blend file, which is from Blender, into an FBX file, which Unity uses internally for 3D models. It does this completely behind the scenes. Whenever we change the .blend file and you'll hit save, it will re-import it again and reconvert it again. The internal file that Unity uses behind the scenes is stored in the library folder in our project. When Unity does its conversion, uh, there are all sorts of options for how it should go about that process. It might convert units, it might ignore camera objects and lights, it might regenerate UVs for the light map, it might deal with materials in some special way, and so on. These options are called the import settings. These import settings are saved in the .meta file. Looking at what the import settings are for any file type can give you insight into what Unity is doing when it imports an asset and why importing can take so long. Sometimes a single file that we give Unity can be more than one asset that we use in the project. This is true for our 3D model. It's also true for this sprite sheet. Uh, there are a single image of four ducks, and from Unity's point of view, it's four duck images or assets. We have imported the different sections of the image as unique sprite assets. Again, the import settings for all of these subassets are saved in that .meta file. There's an even more important job that meta files do, and that's to keep track of references for assets. For every single asset that Unity creates, it will generate a GUID, or Globally Unique Identifier, or GUID. I like to think of this as the row number of a database. The IDs are randomly generated, and no two assets should have the same ID. Let's take a look inside the .meta file for this duck, and we can see its ID right here. Now let's open up the scene file and poke around. If we find the settings for the sprite renderer component, sure enough, the reference for this sprite is done by saving this ID number. That means if I were to go back and modify the ID value in the .meta file, now the asset's missing in our scene. Let's undo that. You obviously should not be going into your .meta files and changing things randomly, but it can happen during development. Most commonly, you might accidentally delete a .meta file, and Unity will then generate a new one with the new random ID, and now any reference to where we use that asset anywhere in our project is now lost. This can also happen if we move a file without moving the .meta file with it. Unity will delete any loose meta file that doesn't have an asset and will regenerate a new meta file for the file that we moved. Now our references have been lost again. Lastly, remember that we need to include .meta files in source control systems like Git. Meta files are important and you should stop deleting them for no reason. When you reorganize your files and move things around, do that from within Unity's project window and Unity will just sort of take care of it all for you. And now you don't even need to remember what meta files are. Just stop deleting them. Just stop touching them. Just don't touch them. It's fine.